Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to review Twilio's third quarter results that had investors so disappointed that the stock was down tremendously after the announcement was made. So let's look at what had Twilio stock investors so upset after third quarter results. And the major theme is the major reason why stock investors exited Twilio as an investment was the fact that management said it no longer thinks it can grow at 30% per year and I'll get to that as we move along here. Overall revenue increased by 33% in the third quarter to 983 million. However, the company's loss from operations increased to 457 million. It was almost doubled the loss from operations of 232 million in the same time last year. And management quoted, I quoted management saying, like many software companies, we are seeing a more pronounced impact from the macro environment on our business than prior quarters. And this is, this is understandable. Businesses are now seeing an uncertain macroeconomic environment. They don't know if we're entering into a recession. They don't know how deep this recession is going to be. And typically when a business sees uncertainty ahead, they reduce all types of incremental investments, all types of optional investments. And Twilio offers businesses an optional investment, right? You can purchase Twilio software which can save you money in the long run by replacing employees with automated software but in the short run you got to make an upfront cost and so businesses are pulling back on that and saying let's wait if we if we have a decision of spending money that we can pause then they're pausing it regardless of if it's a good decision or not they're pausing that investment decision and so they do Twilio does have this uh long run tailwind because their customer engagement software will help businesses save money and improve their customer relationship management but for the short term businesses are choosing not to make that investment right now the near term business outlook is not very good for twilio and this is this is alarming investors because the company is already losing so much money on the bottom line if things get worse and it's not growing so much on the top line then that could signal real trouble ahead. And and you could see this from the dollar-based net retention of 122%, which was down from 131% from the same quarter last year. So customers are not renewing at the rate that they were in the same time last year. So even existing customers are pulling back. This is not a good trend for Twilio. And, manage, and, and management acknowledges this and says, look, we understand things are not looking good and so we're updating our long-term revenue target where a couple of years ago Twilio told investors that they think they can grow revenue at 30% per year for the long run. Now they updated that and they said we don't believe 30% plus is achievable. We don't believe 30% plus revenue growth is achievable. And this long run change is what really caused Twilio stock investors to sell and run away from the stock, right? Because if this was just a short term issue, if management said, look, we're facing headwinds in the near term. We're facing trouble in the near term. Businesses are not certain about what's going on in the macroeconomic outlook, and so they're they're pausing these investments. But we fully expect to return to robust 30% or more revenue growth for the long term. If they reassured investors in that way, then the sell-off would not have been so significant. Sure, the stock price Twilio stock price would have fell after these earnings results, but they would not. The stock price de decrease would not have been as significant as it was. So, that's what was the main disappointment from Twilio stock investors who came into it thinking, "Okay, this company is going to be a fast-growing company long term. We've got this. We've got this strong tailwind. We've got." writing and we can keep this going for the long term because so many businesses need to adapt this software and and we can expect fast growth for a long time but now management deflated those expectations for Twilio stock investors and that's what had them so upset and that's understandable 
that's understandable, right? You were thinking you were investing in this fast-growing company, but now you're you're seeing it. Oh, maybe that's not realistic. Okay. So that's all I've got for this Twilio stock earnings update. If you've gained some value from this, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It'll help me make more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for all investors of all skill sets and risk levels. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by more than three times. Go to fool.com slash parkev to get your 10 stock picks now.